With Yukon 2021.6, S4 and S6 consoles have access to a whole new level of customization for knobs and faders with custom maps. The best and most intuitive control interface is the one you lay out yourself. Users can optimize the placement of parameters on the master module, process module, and knob module encoders, providing the most efficient control for the tools that are essential to your workflow. Whether controlling an EQ, a multiband compressor, a reverb, or a noise reduction tool, custom maps allow users to quickly isolate, place, then adjust the most important parameters of a plugin using touch-sensitive encoders, color map by function. And any changes you make to the knob or fader maps can automatically be saved with the session file. The default setup for dedicated EQ presents the high mid and high bands on the right side encoders of the master module and uses the cell switch to toggle between frequency and Q for the selected band. Let's make a new custom map to adjust how we interact with dedicated EQ on the master module encoders. For more detailed control, we can allocate all four encoders on this side to high shelf parameters in FabFilter Pro Q3. Touch Custom, then touch a physical knob on the master module to designate the map type. From the presented options, touch Master Module to start building your map for the docked encoders. Let's start with High Gain and bring it down to the lower right position. We can immediately interact with the parameters, even while in editing mode. Next, High Frequency, which presents us with an options screen. Touch Always Primary High Freak to only map the frequency parameter from this dual function knob. We always have the option to use the cell switch to toggle between a set of parameters or to discreetly map individual controls. We can press the IN switch next to our frequency encoder to toggle through the various filter shapes. Touch high frequency again, but this time let's grab Q and place it on a dedicated knob. The last parameter we'll place on the top encoder is slope for the high frequency band. Now we have excellent control over every aspect of this specific EQ band. We can mirror all of our choices on the left side, but this time for the low frequency band. To continue adding controls including high pass and low pass filters, simply touch add from the page action section of the interface. If we want our filters on the top knobs of the page, but also need parametric bands down below, we can certainly do that. Users can craft any orientation that aids in the efficient navigation and control parameters. When you've finished editing, simply touch Done to finalize the custom map. For EQ plugins like FabFilter Pro Q3, which include advanced parameters, including dynamic equalization, users can also create separate insert parameter maps in the same manner, but for scenarios where it's necessary to dig deeper into the plugin parameters. After adding the standard EQ parameters, we've created a new page to provide access to the threshold, range, and sidechain for the band. We can create logical groupings of parameters using as many or as few pages as we need. We can even flip between controlling multiple EQ bands on a single page to controlling both the EQ and the dynamics parameters for a single band by simply docking groups of parameters to the physical encoders. One of the most powerful ways to control parameters on the console is via a 4x8 expand map on knob modules. We brought up an Avid Pro Multiband Dynamics plugin, which we can start to edit by touching Custom and touching any of the encoders on the knob module. The default expand map for this plugin uses a horizontal orientation for the bands. We can pivot to a more intuitive vertical orientation by simply defining our own map, starting at the bottom left encoder with Gain, Threshold, Depth, and Slope. For this example, we'll allocate two columns in the grid of 32 to each band. Next, let's bring down Attack, Release, Detector Type, and Key then continue in the same manner until all the four bands of dynamics have been mapped. The in switch associated with each of the gain knobs can be used to quickly link or unlink individual bands. Touch Add under Page Action to add a second page where we can place the three crossover frequencies and any other global controls such as master input, output, and meter preferences. Use the local paging switches to navigate between your various pages. When you've finished with modifications, simply touch Done to finalize the map. Custom maps offer predictable and powerful control over parameters for plugins and other functions. Whether customizing the dedicated EQ layout on the master module or creating advanced insert parameter maps for expand knobs, custom maps can help to accelerate the process of efficiently sculpting audio on S4 and S6 consoles.